seen last video on how to uh, how to add a user to a group uh, or how to add member of a group uh, now um, uh, we want to create a group policy so today i have uh, shown how to add a group policy so you can uh, go to server, uh, server manager tools option and then group policy management uh, also you can go from uh, run command uh, gpmc uh, that means group policy management console uh, dot msc uh, both are same so no need to uh, two window so we are working on one window uh, so now we are going to create a group policy uh, I have seen uh, this is my group policy management console already group policy management console my uh, forest is this domain uh, under domain uh, here I have two policy already by default uh, one is default domain policy and one is default domain controller policy uh, so uh, here I want to create a new group policy uh, so uh, I will go to group policy object right and click click new uh, as like I want to um, restrict it uh, my USB uh, remove all disks so now I can name remove all stories so this is my group policy object name uh, then click ok so here is your group policy uh, if uh, i have seen details uh, settings here is actually more settings because this the uh, fully new so here is no configuration uh, so I want to edit this policy and like right button click and edit uh, then the group policy uh, here is policy so I want to uh, I want to restrict uh, removal ticks system Uh, so I want to again come again. So right button click edit, then this uh, web policy management editor comes up here. And from computer configuration, I uh, will go administrative templates, then system, expand system, then click removal store of access. Uh, here have uh, some uh, configuration, uh, all are not configured. Uh, so my objective is or uh, my goal is uh, I want to uh, deny access or um, store uh, block access or for removal uh, digs or removal storage so, uh, this is the option all removal storage uh, classes deny all access uh, I then click edit um, then click configure uh, if you are uh, new then you can uh, take help from here actually uh, which option you will uh, choose uh, this is the uh, description for uh, why this policy uh, configure access to all removal storage classes and this policy setting takes procedure over and individual remote you know, storage policy setting to manage individual classes use the policy setting for each class uh, so if you want to enable if you enable this policy setting no access is allowed to any remote storage class that means uh, all remote storage uh, will be blocked and if you disable or do not configure this policy setting write and read access are allowed to all remote
uh, storage cluster so uh, if you set this policy if you enable this all removable storage like pen drive uh, your usb hard disk uh, your memory card or uh, your memory usb memory uh, all will be disabled uh, no uh, access available at disable all is available or not configured is same uh, so we have uh, click enable, click apply, and then click OK. Mm, keep in mind, uh, this is not actually USB restriction; it's actually removal storage restriction. Uh, so USB and removal storage, not like that. Uh, you you block USB removal uh, disks or stores but uh, like pen drive uh, USB memory or USB hard disk but uh, you can easily uh, use your USB uh, keyboard or USB mouse uh, no problem uh, apparent here uh, so uh, if uh, now you go my settings so you click show when one policy is added this is all in our storage classes, uh, deny all access. Uh, so you can set this policy, uh, the policy. Uh, you only set uh, make a policy on go policy object, but uh, you not apply it any users. Uh, so now I need to apply. Uh, I want to apply this uh, policy to IT and ERP tool. So <coughs> I will go to IT and ERP and I don't click the button and then click uh, link an existing ERP That means uh, here have all uh, two policy objects uh, shown. Uh, so I want to set policy removal storage block. So click OK. Uh, so now uh, we have seen uh, removal storage block option comes uh, to ERP. Uh, so uh, to uh, ERP, IT and ERP national unit uh, policy applied for uh, IT and ERP. Unit. You can also individually uh, insert by user and computers, also, no problem. Uh, you can, uh, if you want to only uh, set this policy to a user, then click uh, add. Here is uh, set user computer and group. Uh, we have seen this. The setting is for GPU, you can only apply to the following groups user and computers and here is uh, side domain and OEM so you can uh, turn uh, this option for OU domain and sites and this option for uh, groups user and computers so I want to really, uh, set this policy for RF users so click on here so click OK and then, uh, this policy applied for RF uh, and nothing to Users, uh, this the uh, uh, a user. Uh, that's all. So uh, we can also on policy uh, enforce uh, for enforcing. Mm, and then now uh, this policy for applied uh, users. So uh, sometimes uh, policy need to some time to apply. So we want to. Uh, go to policy go policy after slash course then forcefully uh, policy update on your uh, user some computers and my domain uh, this is in your uh, contact finish update has completed successfully and then okay so